Hello, my name is Patricia Jackman and I'm a senior lecturer in sport and exercise psychology and the leader of Lincoln's sport and exercise psychology research at the University of Lincoln. I have been undertaking research on optimal experiences, especially the intrinsically rewarding and effortless place that psychologists term flow for a decade now. When I initially began research in this area, I was really interested in athlete performance and how understanding more about the psychological states athletes experience during an excellent performance could help to improve sport performance. While this is still a focus of some of my research interest in this area, my own research interests have expanded and a lot of my work in this area is now focused on understanding more about optimal experiences in recreational physical activity contexts and how we can promote those positive, rewarding experiences. By helping people to achieve these experiences, this could potentially motivate them to improve participation in sport or increase the likelihood of them engaging in physical activity, both of which could also have many health and psychosocial benefits for participants. Running is one of the most prevalent forms of physical activity globally with many adults around the world taking part. Despite its popularity, many people stop running soon after beginning, suggesting that finding more innovative ways to promote more sustained participation is important. As people's experiences during an activity is linked to longer term participation, we sought to understand what facilitated optimal experiences in recreational running. Our research involved in-depth interviews with runners within 24 hours of recreational running activities that they described as positive and rewarding experiences. Our interviews, which involved a specific method we called the event-focused interview method, sought to build a detailed insight into what facilitated these experiences, both before and during the runs. We found that runners described two optimal experiences in these runs. One was a more effortless flow state, which the runners likened to gliding, cruising, or running automatically. Whereas the second was a more effortful clutch state, which tended to be less pleasant, but was still perceived as rewarding afterwards when people were pleased to have achieved a goal. We also found that in both of these states were described at different stages within the same runs. Flow was facilitated by intrinsic motives related to the running experience, such as a desire to enjoy the run and non-specific goals, which were not specific and not measurable. The perceived ease and pleasure during flow motivated runners to continue the running experience, which appeared to be aided by distractions, such as music, conversation, and nice scenery. Alternatively, clutch states involved an intrinsic motive to accomplish specific measurable goals. And the runners described using strategies such as motivational self-talk, breathing, and pacing to exert control and manage feelings of difficulty. We suggest these findings could have implications for recreational runners, as well as coaches, practitioners, and community-based running clubs committed to improving the experience of runners and exercisers. The findings suggest that setting non-specific goals and or including room for goal flexibility in a runner's training program could help them to promote flow experiences. If runners, on the other hand, are focused on achieving specific measurable goals, it is likely to be important to draw upon mental strategies like self-talk, breath relaxation, and pacing when pursuing such goals. I hope this short video has been useful. If you would like to know more, please visit our website where you can find updates on our research and much more. Thank you.